Armstead gets it started. It will not be Ely who grabs it, but instead, falling down and getting was Otis Reese, the defensive back, the transfer from Georgia. He led the nation in total offense last year, right at 385 yards per game. Corral with his first pass, it's a completion, and it's a big gain, and it's Dontario Drummond. And Dontario's still on his feet, and he's going to pick up about 25 on the first snap of the season for the Rebs. This game's important to Brian. He's an old Miss alum, played football and basketball there. And now he'd like for his Louisville defense to get off the field on third down. A little bit of running room, and it'll be a first down as Ely catches it out of the backfield, and Rebels get their third down conversion. That time, good job of checking it. Letting his athlete make a play. Corral right on the money, and he's got a receiver. It's Jacour Pearson, and Pearson is into Louisville territory. I mean, it, it, think of with Jeff Levy. He was on Art Briles' staff it, it going back to Baylor. I mean, it's that kind of pace. Corral has Ely out of the backfield. His second catch. He has another first down in there at the 11. Because of the tempo and, and the amount of plays that they have that are coming at you, this will be the 10th play. It wears you down. Parrish right at the goal line. He's going to be stopped just short. Full house tight backfield. Ely pushing and Ely is into the end zone. Touchdown Ole Miss. 80 yards to open up this uh, this first series of the season. And they're just going to, after all that, all that razzle-dazzle, tempo spread. They go old school. Power eye formation and push Louisville into the end zone for a touchdown. We'd like to give the Louisville defense a break. Quarterback draw from Cunningham. Malik getting up across the 25. He spun down pretty close to the marker. It was Sam Williams to get him and he did get the first down. Since the start of the 2019 season, no quarterback in the ACC has run for more yards than Cunningham. Right on target, he finds Ford for first down up at the 40-yard line. Cunningham now to throw it. Flushed out. He'll pull it down. He'll run. And he'll cross the 50 and pick up another first down. he be run dangerous. It's the give. A little bit of a surge. Maybe enough to get the first down. Sam Williams, a guy that they're really excited about as a pass rusher, playing good run defense that time. Cunningham kept it. Campbell's there to stop him, and he'll stop him on downs. Here's the quarterback's read that indicates to keep it. But here is Campbell on the outside who's got the quarterback. Good call by D.J. Durkin. Eliminate the runner by coming downhill, and then you have Campbell, the linebacker, right there to account for the quarterback, Cunningham, and keep him short of the first down. Let's see if Avery's defense can get a three and out here thanks to his two Big plays on third down, and they will. Good defense from Louisville again that time. 11 of them in two games. Many of them, you only rushed three, dropped eight. Yep. Patience was going to be tested as Braden Smith makes the fair catch, so the Louisville defense gets a stop. And Cunningham has 23 yards rushing after running for over 600 last year. He'll stay in the pocket here and fires high. Had a chance for the completion, but... Couldn't make the connection, and it'll be a three and out for the Cardinals. First time he's kicked an American football in a game, it's Mark Bassett, a 24-year-old freshman from Melbourne. And Sanders will come up and make the fair catch. Braylon Sanders, the receiver, and Ole Miss will have it back at their own 36-yard line, and there is a flag down. Back to the ground. And Ely is wrapped up by Avery, but not before he picks up another Ole Miss first down. I've got a story on the center, too. We'll see if we get a chance to get to it. Luck. <laughs> this board up here with all these stories, I don't know why we did that. It's completed. It's another catch from Dontario Drummond. And Drummond's trying to stay on his feet. Gets a block in Dontario Drummond. He had a 100-yard receiving game in the bowl game against Indiana. 34 on that one. Monty Montgomery comes up, and that's the read. It tells Corral to get the ball out. And this is, again, these three receivers. Drummond can do things after the catch. In the slot, the former quarterback, John Rice, Plumley's into the game. But Corral goes the other way. 
and the contact was way too early for Chandler Jones, the cornerback, who was trying to defend Jonathan Mingo. Corral again, right up the gut, gets pressure, and down he goes. It is Yasir Abdullah. He just shoots a gap. Does a nice job there of occupying with that slant. It occupies the offensive lineman. Bring one more than they can handle. Perhaps a sense that he was just going to elevate to the starting cornerback role last year. And Keetrell Clark transferred in from Liberty, took that job. And he's working on the other side now. Ely back. And headgear comes coming off of Monty Montgomery. But Ely, not much on the stop. Let's see how it goes. Costa sends it on his way. And right down Peachtree here in Atlanta. And Ole Miss takes a 9-0 lead on the freshman's first career field goal. And so they were anxious to get back to work and get excited and get ready for 2021. Well, they are playing much better on defense right now. And a couple of them came against Vanderbilt this year. So that's as well as Ole Miss has played in defense in quite a while. Cunningham who hasn't really gotten it going passing yet, converted one-third down with his legs, but yeah. this time he's going to be stopped short. Nine-nothing, and they have Ole Miss pinned back here. Snoop Connor into the game for Ole Miss. Connor running across the 15 and running through tacklers before Kendrick Duncan finally gets him on the ground. Ole Miss the first drive. They took it 94. They needed 93 on this drive, and they're off to another good start. There is a strong completion. See, this is the combination of the Baylor stuff with Jeff Levy, who's calling the plays, and here is Lane Kiffin. Did he the kind of pro-style offense that he ran at USC? Pick completion to Rogers. There's two in a row for Chase Rogers, who caught the last one now. It's the first time without Lane Kiffin. Corral, he can run, he gets the first down and gets down. And the flag is going to come in because after the slide, you got to let up. How he's playing and how he's going to try to defend the run coming at him. Give to Snoop Connor. Connor makes a man miss and gets down to the five. Again, you got to adjust to this tempo and the speed of these backs. Corral pulls it. Matt going for the end zone. Touchdown, Matt Corral. Going at OKK. Watch him here now trying to do the best job that he can on this zone read. He tries to get outside off of a block, and you can see the speed of Corral, who's known for his ability to throw, but if you've ever watched Ole Miss play with two at quarterback, has plenty of wheels to make you have to respect Stop that aspect of his game. Cunningham gets it out quickly, hoping the running back can make a play, but not much running room for Mitchell. A.J. Finley's there. To stop him, and it'll be fourth down. That's it to punt it away. Braylon Sanders calling for the fair catch, and he makes it with his feet right at his own 44-yard line. Parrish still in the game. See if Corral can convert on third down. Plenty of time and plenty of room to run. Matt pulls it out of there. It's up around the 50. He needed to get to the 46, and he's going to be short, but here comes the flag in at the end. A lot of piles being cleaned up in all those games, too, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> he was very strict. A much-needed stop for the Louisville defense. I was a die-hard New Orleans Saints fan because Archie Manning was my favorite player, yeah. which will now endear me to the Ole Miss people, I'm sure. Yeah, of course. Long-suffering back then, too. Into traffic, and it's intercepted. That was ill-advised as Deontay Prince has the pick. And Deontay Prince is a terrific story. There is a flag back in the backfield. And it's a holding call on Louisville, on Brown. Quick, I think what he saw is Prince is up tight, and then he drops back. And I don't think he expected him to drop back as far as he did. He gets in that throwing lane. Anytime you're laid over the middle like that, that is a no-no, and it sets it up easy for a safety with his eyes on the football. And again, I keep going back to it. This is the same Ole Miss defense that couldn't do anything right against the pass, playing very well tonight. Responsible for that turnover in just a second. Great field position. See if Corral tries to strike quickly. He's got Mingo on the outside, and Mingo's inside the 10. He's driving toward the pylon, and they'll mark him out of bounds just short. Kendrick Duncan kept him from scoring a touchdown. 
Reese, look how inside the corner is right here. He, he completely uses, loses his eyes on Drummond, who's a big, thick receiver at 220 pounds, but that inside leverage, Mingo's able to get outside and show some pretty good speed for a big man down the side. I can't wait to hear I mean, it. It is, it is a remarkable uh, story of a young man figuring things out largely on his own as Connor goes plowing into the end zone and the Ole Miss lead is 22 to nothing. Thought he'd have a goose egg here at this point in the game and you're going to get against this offense you're going to give up plays you're going to give up points it's just part of it you either got to keep possess the ball and keep the ball away from them. Coming back for his senior year from Vidalia, Georgia in his home state. This time Cunningham has some time and pulls it out to take a run and Mikhail's going to take a big shot again. It's Lakia Henry over there. A little help from Otis Reese. Fans are a little bit um, at Louisville as Cunningham pulls it down on third down and pushes it, forward. It's and, taken every yeah. ounce of effort by Malik Cunningham to get a first down. That seems to have gone by the wayside after an offseason of a little bit of strife, at least among the fan base. Cunningham chased out of there by Sam Williams, and he tried to turn the corner and could. So a third and three, Louisville bailed out by a targeting call earlier in this drive. Now just hoping for a standard conversion. Cunningham throws, and that was almost intercepted. I've, I've, never, I've never seen anything like this. Four targeting ejections in a game three in the second quarter and all justified too. yeah three in the second quarter four in the game Fourth down here Cunningham picks up the first down and he tremendous effort here nothing there there's the pressure does a good job right there because that's the guy who's been giving him a headache all night chance Campbell but he has a stiff arm and two of eight on third down converted a fourth down to keep this drive alive Few plays ago, dumping out in the flat. Ole Miss is there. Marshawn Ford had it. Cunningham pitched it quickly, and they dropped it. He had the first down. If he just holds on to the ball, and he doesn't, and Austin Keys is there, and it was a stop anyway, and everything that could possibly go wrong has. Man-to-man, -man, crash him, and then you just pitch it out to the outside. It's exactly per It's perfect. You have an alley, you've got speed in the back and Hall, and Hall got so excited he started to look up where he wanted to run and did not secure the football. Second turnover force in the first half, and now Corral will try to make him pay. Right, oh. And let's see, did Drummond hold on to it? Yeah, he, he held on to that. No, look, yep. Looked like he has that. What Over the corner. This. Over top of the corner. And how about the focus? But that growth that Molly was talking about and Kirk was talking about with the maturity, that's that's been the one thing. And he is displaying that in abundance in the first half. Completes it out to Parrish. Picks up the first down. He's moved to receiver now. Permanently moved in the bowl game last year. What a great athlete. Based on the baseball team. He had six catches for 79 yards in the bowl game. Right on cue. John Rice has his first catch tonight. His first touch. Clock now down to 10. They've held Louisville under three yards of play, averaging better than seven and a half themselves. Corral gets it complete. Drummond needs to head for the boundary, and and he does. And clock stops with four seconds. And you, you clear out the corner, and then you put the inside receiver back outside there. Now two has about a five to seven yard cushion, and. And he popped it right through there with a line drive right back up the middle and Corral and the Rebels will take a 26 nothing lead. Lee Cunningham's a dual threat quarterback. You try to get something started and get back in this game. Hassan Hall on the return. All across the 20 to the 30. Hall's headed toward midfield and he is run out of bounds. I told you earlier he's taken a couple to the house in his career. 59-yard kickoff return. Cunningham starts at the Ole Miss 41. Completes the pass. Had a tough first half throwing. Only 17 yards in the first half. But got it to Marshawn Ford. Facing Cunningham. The card's just 2 of 8 on third down in the first half. Cunningham running out of time. Has to throw it. He was outside the tackle box. Got a pass line of scrimmage. So no grounding. It'll be fourth down and six. 
necessitates a two-point conversion to a 38-yard field goal attempt coming for James Turner. Turner sends it on his way. A game that maybe some people a little bit off their radar, but Iowa pounded a good Indiana team. Darian Ely is wrapped up, swarmed under a big loss on the first play of the second half. Ashton Gelate was back there. First got a little help from Keetrell Clark. Yeah, not, nice job here at getting off blocks and showing some speed here to be able to get out there. Corral, plenty of time, fires a dart, and that'll take care of that 18. And Ely was on the catch. Yeah, they, they do a good job of creating a little bit of confusion where you get upfield, takes the linebacker with him, and then you see Ely work. So you're worried about Plumley. You take him away. You think we're good, and then right behind him comes Ely. Corral put it in Ely's belly and pulled it out, and has a good, quick run. Kyler Murray, Lamar Jackson, pretty good group. Deshaun, that works. You know, that works. Uh, Corral was trying to connect with the former quarterback Plumley there, and John Rice wasn't looking back yet. Matt approaching another 300-yard passing game. He's got 279. On fourth down, slant, first down, maybe more. Another big catch from Dontario Drummond. Drummond, who has a touchdown in five straight games coming in. But this team will pound you at the line of scrimmage and run, too. Ely's got it again. He's got a first down. He's down to the 15. Louisville trying to rip the ball. First and 10. Corral. Oh, starting to run, and now he's got his first touchdown pass of the season. It's Jerry and Ely. Second down and 14. Quick pitch out to Parrish. And Parrish is knocked down immediately. Good aggressive play from Jack Fagot. And getting upfield, as you said, very physical tackle. Corral throwing to the end zone at a man in the back just out of the outstretched arms of Braylon Sanders. Made quite a living of feeding the ball to great receivers. This is a 38-yard field goal attempt that is true. Still hoping to climb that mountain starting on Saturday. Cunningham flips it out. Catch from Josh Johnson, who's end of the game. Sensational trip to the Big 12 championship game, falling short and taking care of Oregon in the bowl game. It's Cunningham completes the pass to Amari Huggins Bruce. DJ Durkin defense that you mentioned, he was familiar with parts of and aspects of it in Maryland. Mitchell runs through a tackle, drags another guy with him. He's got the first down and still pushing forward and driving those feet and getting inside the 25 and down to about the 22. He runs right through the nose guard on third down, showing some physicality. That's a big man that he just ran right through, a 300 pounder in KDA Hill. And then he's not done. See my offensive lineman helping him out. Back to the ground. And Austin Keys is there to stop Mitchell. Just beats the play clock. Cunningham keeps it. He'll be stopped short of the first down. A.J. Finley on the tackle along with Campbell, and it'll bring up fourth down. Cunningham firing to the end zone. It's a touchdown for Braden Smith. But there is a flag. The score is good. Smith right here. Finley soft and with an outside receiver and a defensive back, easy to get outside and not enough time for Finley to catch up. Manning brothers have a TV empire work, don't they? They sure do. To the ground, Snoop Connor, and Snoop's had a good night, scored a touchdown, and about 12 on that, and first down for the Rebels to start the drive. Inside 90 seconds to play here in the third quarter, second and one. And Connor's going to pick up the first down. Thinking they'd see a lot of that, again, starting tonight, and they've emphasized how to beat that. Corrales throws a laser to Dontario Drummond. Who has another 100-yard receiving night. Yeah, he, he's convinced based on the look. He, he has that look, but you can see that he gets caught up. So he works all the way back to the left side. Drummond's in motion. Corral finds him. 
Ontario Drummond inside the 15 before he's chased out of bounds. Good block from Braylon Sanders to help him out. He continues to have a great night. 11, 220 pounder at 6-1. He's a handful. 162 yards receiving so far. There goes Snoop Connor. Snoop puts somebody on the hood and goes into the end zone. He, he looks like an SEC running back at about 225 pounds, and he's looking to just lower his shoulder and go right over you. And that time Chandler Jones, the corner, got to feel his power. You know, in this stadium, SEC championship game later on, and SVP is going to put this on his week one overreaction, but, you know, what if we have a one versus two SEC championship game and Shante Sistrunk is there to take down Cunningham? Uh, the other two games have, have been pretty convincing. Yeah, it hasn't been a productive uh, Labor Day weekend. The flag comes flying in. Travis was the epitome of class as the ball is thrown down the middle to Marshawn Ford. Ford gets down close to the 30. Works over the middle and second time, he, you know, he feels comfortable with that, those throws. That's probably where he's been his most accurate is waiting for those outside receivers to clear over the middle and wait till they get into that. Guys now, through the offseason, through having a normal spring practice, they've had a little bit more time to bond. I know we were talking to Kiffin. He said, you know, look, it's still an offensive game. And they got a different defense this year. Going down the middle, a strike complete. Going back to that look. And he just looks like that's his that's his throw, throw. That's his ball that he likes is that inside outside to inside route. And Cunningham pulled it and he was wrapped up immediately. Good job staying home again. One takes the Otis reset time. Scott Satterfield after the departure of Bob Petrino is trying to get fixed. Malik Cunningham throws incomplete. It'll be fourth down and goal though a flag flies in. <laughs> my, my standard poodle chases the Bears in the backfield. Wow. Cunningham pulls it down to run, and he gets into the end zone on fourth and goal. Well, it's been a better night for Louisville in the past, but Cunningham just really set the tone for the season with some really impressive performances as Henry Parrish turns the corner, gets into Louisville territory, and he's tripped up just short of the 35 like to see you're, it's all about building early in the season for next week you just don't want to shut it down just keep battling no matter how bad it gets Whoop. that is a dart to Dontario Drummond and now Drummond has a touchdown in six straight games but it may not stand his game just reminds his yeah. personality the way he plays leaves his heart out there on the on the field as far as his leadership style constantly talking to the linemen his receivers Ding something up, so he inflicted a little punishment of his own. Corral started to pull it out. Now Matt pulls it down, and so Matt runs over a guy, and it's Clark, but he held on and finally got him to the ground. That's the Baker Mayfield I'm talking about. The, the linemen, the backs, this is the leader of their team. They respond to him. He's not going to slide, but that's just his personality. It's hard to take that away from him. Wow, that was a good drive. And that was easy as pie. And the one that they call back on Drummond, they get one back for him. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Terrific passes. Corral has thrown to nine all of the touchdowns he threw last year. There's his first touchdown of the season. And hotty toddy, gosh almighty, Ole Miss is rolling. I have golden retrievers, oh, you've got golden my retrievers. friend. Okay. Right. Yeah. My bad. Just we shear them down a bit in the way. summer to make them, make them look like labs try to cool him off well, first of all this is you know standard poodle he's about waist high i don't know what he's that about, means he, he's about standard he's stand, standard I mean, that's a type of breed they're miniature they're mowing poodles you know almost you think timid except for two things if a bear or bobcat comes into the backyard the two things that actually could do him some harm how and you, he goes how do you how do you prevent him from well, you getting get destroyed him. by the bear you got to get him back in they're defensively they're not just running to the ball they're they are hitting hard tonight and the difference is they look like a team this defense looks like they have a chance to be really good this year a completion well thrown ball from Cunningham finding Watkins but the fact that they're still fighting in the fourth quarter when a game got sideways on him I love to see that 
Cunningham turning the corner and headed to the end zone, and Louisville is back in. Third and nine. And Corral had to slip out and pick up the first down, but he'll be tackled short as we go inside two and a half minutes to play. Fourth and five, Corral converts, and who else? Of course, it's Dontario Drummond with his ninth catch of the night. And Dontario's on a couple of national champions at the junior college level, Jerry and Ely. Ely goes down to the 20. Without Lane Kiffin and DJ Durkin, the defensive coordinator walking out. DJ Durkin, they, you always want to get better. I've worked one week, but my man's got to feel really good with how this season got started for this defense. That was the emphasis in the offseason. You knew the offense was going to be good. Defense had to get better, and they have.